<laughs> All right, so today we wanted to talk about dairy. Um, we got an article from the Center for Nutrition Studies at Cornell um, talking about dairy, and it, it talked specifically about the risk to children, so I do want to share um, some of that. But do you want to share, because you were just taking notes specifically, do you want to uh, go ahead and I'll scan that? through these and just um, some highlights. Don't go fast. That Take I your take. time. <laughs> so, I mean, one of, the, one of the main things is everybody thinks that um, by taking in dairy, it's beneficial to your bones, and you know, you mm -hmm. get all this calcium and all that. But as it turns out, that, that it really has little to no effect on your, on your bones, the calcium in that. Your body is not able to utilize it like the claims seem and to And we feel. talked about that last week when we talked about calcium specifically, that people think that calcium in dairy is really good for them, but that it's not as bioavailable as the calcium in, say, broccoli. And that because uh, animal protein causes acidity in the body and your body uses calcium to offset that acidity, when you take in calcium in cow's milk along with the animal protein in cow's milk, it kind of, you end up with a, either a wash or a net negative. So you don't want, you don't want that to happen. So right. it's not the best option for getting your calcium, even though that's what pediatricians push. It's what doctors say. Like it's it, what they're taught. It's what school. they're taught. It, it's just, that's what people say, but it's not. And we, we talked about calcium. We talked about how it's actually not um, linked to less hip fractures or anything so right, that's true exactly let me tell, say to melissa i just read that it's going to be colder in chicago than in siberia tomorrow yes. i do not feel like that is fun at all and i hope you have a very heavy jacket if you have to go yes, outside please hey do. allison morning allison okay, uh, the other thing too is another myth is that uh the best place to get your vitamin d is through milk uh, milk, there is no vitamin D in milk. It's not a naturally occurring... Not when it occurring, comes from the cow. Right. It's not a naturally occurring uh, vitamin. It is fortified with vitamin D. And there are many other sources for which you should get vitamin D. Your number one source, of course, should be sun. So a 10-minute walk, and as we mentioned before, it really depends on the um, tone of your skin. Yeah, the lighter your skin, the less time you need to spend in the... Uh, no. Yes, you're right. Yes, that's right. Yep. And make sure I do it right. Yeah. The lighter your skin, the less time you have to spend in the sun to, for your body to make vitamin D. Yeah, because it's like the melanoma... Not that, the... Um, as you age, um, your body gets less efficient at it, so you need a little more time. Right. That does not mean you should spend so much time in the sun you end up with like a leather back. That's exactly. Not, exactly. not what we're suggesting, um, but... There are... Deborah's here. Morning, Deborah. There are other um, sources of uh, vitamin D that, that are better than uh, milk, and that is... They even mentioned fortified cereals. Uh, we would say make sure that it's, you know, whole grain Right, cereals. a whole grain cereal, yep. Whole grain grain. <laughs> uh, whole grain bread. Orange juice. Soy or rice milk and mushrooms. Isn't mushrooms, orange juice certified? Uh, fortified? It, um, yes, but I think their point is that because the orange juice itself helps you absorb the vitamin D better. So okay. even though it is fortified. I know it, mushrooms are the one place where you can get it naturally. Yeah, like mushrooms. Like they're not fortified. Right, exactly. Mushrooms, it seems like grain and um, bread. Well, bread would be, of course, fortified. But grain seems to be another natural source. I had never read that, Laura, that redheads made their own vitamin D. But redheads are a special breed, so I wouldn't put it past them. I have lots of redheads in my family, so... Right. Yeah. All right, go and, ahead. Uh, T. Colin Campbell, for those who don't know who he is, he is the, the driving force behind it. Uh, the China Trish, study? The China study and what, what's your... The Center for Nutrition Studies Thank at you. Cornell. Thank you. And, and really is the expert when it comes to uh, milk, dairy, casein, casein, and all the effects. Because the he's the one yeah. that studied it. Everybody goes to him for the sources. Mm -hmm. um, so he basically says that casein, which is the protein found in milk, is the number one fuel for cancer fire. Um, and, and it really it, it really affects uh, three particular types of cancer, which is the productive system cancer or the prostate, the ovarian cancer, and breast cancer. Uh, what else do I have here? Uh, we talked about the pesticides that you find in milk. Now, Robin um, says always that if you're going to drink milk... If you feel like you absolutely must ingest dairy... Try to get organic. Right. I mean, I, I, we highly recommend you don't ingest dairy right. and you certainly don't feed it to your children, but try to get organic because like Russ says, um, and you, maybe it won't have as many pesticides. It depends on what they're feeding the animal. Right. I, I have to look. Does anyone know if milk is labeled organic, does that mean they feed the animal organic feed or does that mean they just don't add you know, antibiotics yeah. and all that kind of stuff to the cow? And we did see the one documentary where, where it talked about how they put like organic animals, farm raised animals, right next to a field where they you know, put um, GMO corn. Right. You know, so the problem is even if they're grazing, they're, that, that stuff they're spraying is coming over. Yeah. And so they're still not 100% um, great. 
Uh, but mainly, the biggest concern is the, P the uh, PCBs and the di uh, dioxins. Di dioxins. Thank mm -hmm. you. And um, it's very small quantities. They're not a problem. But the problem is your body doesn't excrete those efficiently. So they right. build up over time. So the more you, you're eating, the, the greater the substance is, and it becomes toxic. Now, I told you when, I, you, know, when I was a kid growing up, oldest of eight children, we drank 14 gallons of milk a week. Mm. That was milk we got straight from the dairy. It was not pasteurized. It was not homogenized. It was not defatted. It, like, it literally was straight from the dairy. And we drank a lot of it. But um, back then, the casein was still an issue. Obviously, mm -hmm. we didn't know that casein was an issue, but it was because it still had the protein in it. Um, the pregnant cow hormones were still an issue because milk comes from pregnant. either cows that just gave birth or are pregnant again. So you've got all those hormones going on. So that was an issue. But there wasn't as much, I'm, I'm hoping, for mm -hmm. me, because I drank a lot of milk, of the uh, pesticides and uh, the antibiotics and all the things that are in milk now and that are you know, causing issues with, with children as they're developing that there are now. So something to consider. Go right. ahead. Um, and then the last thing I have, too, is that you know, milk fat, milk sugar, and the saturated fat in milk um, pose the highest risk um, to, the, um, to the American society or the American diet. Because um, it encourages both the development of, well, not both, but the development of obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. Um, in children. In children. So not, not only does it, is it not great for adults, but we've told you, I mean, I've said this before, and I've seen it because I grew up on a farm where it happened. A cow is born, a calf is born at, say, 100 pounds. Give her 80, 100 pounds, something like that. Milk is designed to make that calf gain, like, 400 pounds in the, in the course of like six months. Yeah. So if you think about something that's designed to take a mammal and make it grow that fast, if your body isn't designed to grow like that, what's it gonna do with that right. extra energy? It's gonna store it. Yeah, so exactly. so right. it's not surprising that it causes uh, obesity at all. Right, and to keep in mind too, uh, I think it's Dr. Esselstein that says that children, you know, one of the things like when a child graduates high school, they're gonna graduate with two things, a diploma and the beginnings of cardiovascular disease. And it's because mm -hmm. of, you know, not only obviously the dairy that, that, that they're fed through the life, but then also all the, I mean, all the cheese. Processed food. I mean, think about yeah. what they have in the lunchroom. They have pizza. What's on pizza? Cheese, right? I mean, everything they serve is just loaded with cheese. I made the comment the other day we're all, that, that we're all watching these commercials for food, and I've yet to see something pop up that isn't smothered with cheese. I mean, it could be anything. It doesn't matter. It could be the chicken, could be meat, could be pork. It doesn't matter. Then they throw cheese on it. That's because Americans will eat cardboard covered in cheese. I'll tell I mean, you. They will, and the people are addicted to it. I mean, they absolutely are. Deborah's saying it's supposed to get down really uh, cold in the low teens in North Carolina. Yeah, it's going to be cold here, Yes, too. almond milk is excellent. Yeah, almond milk, cashew milk. Cashew milk. The one thing to look for in those, those milks is um, sometimes they add oil to them. Mm -hmm. So if you are trying to avoid oil, make sure you, that you read the packaging right. for that because they do sometimes add oil. But definitely a better choice, even with a bit of oil in it, than dairy. Exactly. And then the other thing I always say about the um, packaged milk, um, plant milk that you buy is try to get the one with the least amount of ingredients. Some of them have ingredients. That yeah, are like, yeah, and then you're what are they putting in and, there? And what happens is you wind up not doing any better as far as all the additives that you're getting. Well, the additives, yeah, but you're still going to do better oh, than, then, than then, the yes, dairy and the, and the casein. Yeah. The other thing that I wanted to add was that um, there, they, they did some research, and this is from the article again from the Center for Nutrition Studies at Cornell that said adding a single glass of extra milk to your diet a day increases your death from heart disease by 15%, which isn't surprising because you know milk does have the cholesterol and the animal protein in it and the fat in it, increases your risk from all-cause mortality, which is basically any cause of death, right. by 15%, and increases your risk of hip fracture by 9%, which, you know, it's so funny that we all drink, you know, milk to try to protect our bones, and it turns out it's actually not good it's for our bones. It's actually negative, yeah. yeah. It's a negative. Yeah, so I mean, what's Melissa having to say? The site states that organic milk does come from cows fed organic feed. Thank okay. you for looking that Thank up. Yes. I appreciate that. And I wasn't sure about that. So um, if you're getting organic milk, which if you feel the need, which I don't know why you would, but if you feel the need to um, have dairy in your life, look for organic. At least then you're, you're avoiding the... As much of the pesticides as possible. I mean, if their cow is breathing Roundup, there's not much you can do about that. But avoiding the pesticides, avoiding the antibiotics, avoiding the growth hormone that they add to cows to make them produce more milk, and just, you know, all of that. So 
I would recommend not doing dairy at all. We've definitely eliminated yeah, we've it. It was eliminated. one of the first things that we you know, cut out of our lives when we started learning about this stuff was dairy. And I just don't see how that's good for children. And I, I'm very thankful that so far I have no, as far as I know, no ill results of having drunk milk by literally the gallon as a child. Um, but you know, who knows? Hopefully that my turning it around and eating better now is going right. to offset that. And then we are a big believer in uh, if you can change your habits before you've reached the, before you cross that line where, the, where whatever illness you're going to have, it says it's already too late, you're going to have that illness. That's just all there is to it. Yeah. But if you do make a change before that, and I've always believed this, that you or your body will, will, heal. will heal itself. Yeah. And that's the whole point between a whole food lifestyle is that it gives your body the opportunity to heal itself. And yeah. it's also why we fast, because fast is also supposed to Give your body that. a chance, yeah. Right. But you don't like fasting. I don't like it as much. I, I'm making <laughs> about 20, 21 hours. I'm like, I yeah, he's he's not do, he's not yeah. making it 24 hours anymore. Right. So um, yeah, basically what we learned, which is what we've told you a lot, is that you know the casein in milk, which is the protein in milk, um, which is condensed in cheese, mm -hmm. is cancer promoting. It just is. That's just mm -hmm. how it is. And so that's something to be aware of. If if you have a cell that doesn't do what it's supposed to do, casein is going to help that grow. And um, it, there's just a lot of stuff in it as far as pesticides and antibiotics and growth hormones and everything that just aren't meant for humans in any way shape or form so something definitely to be aware of did you have anything else you wanted to add uh, about just, milk? there's just the three points i want to re uh, say again okay just to be repetitive okay <laughs> is that um milk is not a great source for calcium yep. milk is not a great source for di for dairy and t colin campbell who is the authority when it comes to milk and its effects on humans basically says it is the fuel that lights the fire for cancer. And he says it's more important that you eliminate milk from your diet than meat, although you should eliminate meat yes, too. Yes, in parentheses he says, or yeah, he says eliminate meat too, but he says milk is the milk. We've told you, dairy. we think dairy and eggs are the first things that people should eliminate right. from their diet. And not that meat is great for you, but we think dairy and eggs Those are, are the two places to start. Even worse. Absolutely. So, yeah. Um, so, I think that's what we have to share with them about that. I think so. If you guys have questions about that or comments or whatever, um, let us know. Melissa, thank you so much for the link about uh, organic milk being given organic feed. That's good to know. Although they're probably still eating grain, which changes the composition of milk from the grass that cows are supposed to eat. But that's a whole separate issue. Yeah, same way. We just went on a tangent. <laughs> I did go on a tangent. Sorry. Our website is rnrjourney.com. You can join there and become a member and get access to articles and all the things. We post a lot of the content that we use, that we share information with you. There's conversations going on there. Our live Q&A once a month yep. that we do. A um, lot of stuff, a lot of access to a lot of things on there. Um, I also want to let you guys know that um, if you weren't here yesterday, I did submit the book to our editor for the first round of feedback, so I should be getting that this week. So the book is coming. I'm going to um, actively try to get it out in 60 days. There you go. We'll see what happens. Did you know that? 60 days? Yes, I might be the one cog that's holding that up. <laughs> he has to do the make it pretty part. I just have right. to write it. Um, so that's going on. rnrjourney.com is our website. Get information there. Our newsletter, you can join there. And our um, webinar is at howtofeedahuman.com. And make sure that you like and share and tell people to turn the notifications on. You can go to notifications and all notifications. And that way you actually get notified right. when we come online because otherwise Facebook just decides you liked it for fun. Right, exactly. So please do like and share. Thank you to everyone. Let's see what is... Did not extensively check this resource, and you're welcome. Yeah, that's cool. I understand. I'm, I'm happy that just they're feeding organic cows organic right. food. It's a good that, start. That's a good start. They at least should do that. Anything else? Did I say everything we're supposed to say? I think so. I think you might have one more one comment. One more comment. Oh, Deborah, have a great day. Hell you yeah. too. Well, you too, Deborah. Thank you very much. It's good to see all of you. Thanks yes, for being thank here. Thank you for being here. So with that, we'll say eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. Stay warm. We'll yes, see you tomorrow. Stay warm. <laughs>